So, hi and welcome to today's lecture, lecture number 47 called The Eye of Witchcraft. We are going to be studying this topic with the purpose of understanding that all of us have this eye. We all have this witchcraft defect within us and it is necessary to eliminate it. Witchcraft is um, intimately related to sexual magic. We usually define witchcraft as power. We recognize a witch as someone who has power over things, power to manifest things, uh, to move certain forces, the power, um, for example, to see beyond the physical. But the important thing is to know where this power comes from, since all the power comes from a single source, from sex. The power is in the creative energy of the Holy Spirit, which is sexual energy. The use we give to that energy form us as black magicians or white magicians. We must understand that in the sexual crossing between men and women, which is what the cross really symbolizes, is where the creative power of the human being is activated. Sexual union is a ritual of high magic. This is why it is known also as sexual magic or tantra. We have already thought that there are three types of sexual magic or tantrism. Why tantrism is the sexual union of the fallow and the joni, the penis and the vagina without seminal ejaculation. This kind of union leads us to make that energy ascend along the spinal cord. And here, of course, we are talking about the Kundalini. We also have great tantrism. Um, this is the practice of sex without any transcendental purpose, just for animal enjoyment and the fulfillment of our lustful desires. This one, sooner or later, is going to lead us to black tantrism. We also have black tantrism, the infrasexual practice with magical rites and seminal ejaculation, which leads us to wake up and feed the kunda buffer, also known as the Satan tail. With white tantrism, the gods are formed, but with black tantrism, the demons are formed. With this, you can see the intimate relationship between sexual magic and witchcraft. All of us who are walking this path must know that we have to become angels or demons because we already know the secrets of sex. And we already know that the sexual creative energy of the Holy Spirit has the elixir of long life or eternal life. So at this point, we have to make that decision. Uh, let's say that the main difference between a white magician and a black magician is the quality of their knowledge. How they use this knowledge about sex. Do they use it to make it ascend or to feed the ego? A white magician never fornicates. He values and transmutes his sexual energy with a stable partner in fidelity, chastity, and love, versus a black magician who spills and reabsorbs the sexual energy. He, um, he also adulterates sex and practices infrasex. With white tantrism, the chakras and the churches are awakened and the consciousness is released. The seven existential bodies of the being are created, which will allow us um, to govern nature and the four elements, um, to move consciously through all dimensions of, of nature, and wake up all the senses that are now asleep. And finally comes the fusion with the self itself. With black tantrism, all black magicians are formed, as I said, um, the powers of fire flip down, become inverted and feed the kunda buffer, and the powers they get by doing so, they put them at the service of their ego, since they do not work on the elimination of the defects. 
as they are also working with fire or energy, they'll get some powers. Some of the senses of perception are awakened, but we must say that those powers can't match a white magician's powers never ever, okay? The black magicians rank within the 13 degrees of Anagarix. They fight for seeking the satanic tail, the Kunda buffer. For that, they make super efforts to submerge humanities in the abyss. So they can gain those degrees. And as they gain those degrees of Anagarix, they go down and they distance themselves eternally from their being. Therefore, it is urgent that we study the black magician defeat so that we can discover in our behavior all its details and eliminate them from our psychology. Otherwise, sooner or later, we will fall into black magic. Here, uh, we have some specialties of the black magicians and we must look for those details within ourselves. Maybe we don't do any of these things, but we also may check if we have visited um, visited or seek for help with any witch or black magician okay so we have sorcerers uh, we have um, spirit, um, spiritualists uh, fortune tailors concealers omens false prophets healers santeros prayers priests magnetizers mesmers um, witches um, uh, voodoo priests fetishes counterfeiters, tricksters, etc., etc. Also, it's going to be very useful to know the forms of attack of the black magicians so we can protect ourselves. And now that we are saving our energy and trying to awake consciousness, we are going to be the objective of some black magicians that may want to steal our energy or even make us disease in this inner work. So they attack um, during a sleep, for example, for, uh, projecting movies in our minds, um, causing us fear and doubt, giving us teachings that confuse. That's why in the astral we must conjurate everyone who comes with um, certain knowledge or certain uh, teaching to know if we are dealing with a real wide um, a master or if we are dealing, if we are in front a black magician, okay? It's very important to conjurate everybody in, in, in the astral. They can also um, associate us to black magicians. So it's very impo important not to be making deals in the astral because we can be making a deal with a black magician and, and getting associated with him. They can also make us become identified with lust um, they can seduce us, uh, sed um, um, seduce us, excuse me, <laughs> in a lustful dream and steal our sexual energy. And when we are awake, they can send people, they can employ magicians to do certain black magic work. Um, they can also attack us with works of black magic like hauntings, spells, ligatures, voodoo dolls, funeral substances um, with evil eye, with um, intervention of elementals, um, doing black magic operations to our sexual parts, brain or spine, doing castrations. They can cause diseases. They can cause also enmities, enmities with friends, family, students, and acquaintances. Um, they can also cause psychic obsessions like fixed ideas, negative thoughts, negative emotions. Um, they also attack us through vices like alcoholism, drugs, gambling. Um, they also attack us through some aspects of culture like fashions, intellectualism, music, etc., etc. Okay. The main places where witchcraft is worked are black magic clinics, cemeteries, pseudo-esoteric schools, churches, temples of prayer, uh, tolerance zones, brothels, motels, 
theaters and stadiums, okay? So, um, some of the powers that black magicians develop um, are, for example, gene states, levitation, astral and mental unfolding, power in the world, so they can convince many people. Uh, they can control animals, elementals, um, they develop magic healing, um, clairvoyance, telepathy, premonitions, and sexual domain. Some of the black magician works are, it works with black magic, of course, with elementals, with animals and humans. They make spells, manipulations, um, they also create dependencies. They work with voodoo dolls. They do concoctions, essences, washes, cleanings, uh, readings of the future. They uh, work. They work with giving advices, cures, uh, exorcisms, prayers, rituals. They all match and match with land or, or ground plants, elementals, animals, um, they do black tantrisms, they do operations, they use blood, semen, um, they do grafts, they um, do organs, transplants, and tattoos, yes. <laughs> they also do some dominations with advices, seductions, emotional forces, mental forces, spells, hypnotism, magnetizations, sacrifices, satanisms, diseases of the of the physical, vital, astral and mental bodies. And some of the tools of divination they use are astrology, tarot, um, cartomancy, reading hands, reading the iris of the eye, spiritism, the Ouija, reading um, the cups of chocolate, coffee or tea. For this purpose, they also use cigarettes, tobacco, stains, mm, coffee grounds, candles, pendulums, etc., etc., okay? <laughs> they also tend to monetize with their powers. So they are going to charge you and sell you their witchcraft services and tools or instruments, such as amulets, talismans, metals, minerals, crystals, substances, concoctions, essences, uh, cleansing, medicine, books, candles, and all kinds of black magic work they do. Witches, of course, offer us things like health, money, love, powers, prestige, pleasure, seduction, revenge, domination of people, good luck, etc., etc. All of us want those things. And we want to get them in an easy way. And we believe that going to a witch is the solution. The truth is that no, it is quite the opposite. Without realizing it, we, uh, when we seek the services of a witch, we become linked with the witch and with the entity that is behind him or her. We open ourselves and give permission for being robbed of our energy and of course we feed the self of witchcraft so here we have aspects that allow us to identify a black magician but we must also seek for these details within ourselves okay they give advices they get into the lives of others they threaten they attack they harm others with works of black magic they harm others by imposing diseases on them. They develop hatred for other people. They hate and feed hatred. They cause enmity with attacks. They do psychic jobs to disturb others. They kill with black magic. They also develop psychic powers and, and they also exhibit their powers in public. They use their powers against everybody um, they use their powers to, to tyrannize, they do not respect free will, uh, manipulate the emotions of others, 
they project fixed ideas and manipulate the minds of others. They also exploit the different branches of medicine. So they trade with medicine. They trade um, with contraceptives, castrations, abortions, genetic crosses. They perform um, transplants. They do blood transfusions. They may drive blood and semen banks. Um, they also alter the objective knowledge. So they trade in esotericism, they trade in wisdom, they charge for the teachings, they teach pseudo-esotericism, they form pseudo-esoteric schools, um, in there they give titles, degrees, initiations, they confuse sincere um, aspirants, they teach black tantrism with a spillage of semen. They teach to reabsorb the semen. They falsify their religions also. They deceive their religious affiliates. They seek followers, um, develop fanatism. They give their followers to the abyss. They deceive their clients. They create dependency on their clients. They also manage appearances. Okay, uh, they advertise, they have clinics, they live off the evil of others because they charge for healing. Also, they do not respect the divine law, neither the laws of nature. So they commit crimes against nature. They do not have chastity. They uh, do adulterate sex. They practice infrasex, as I said before, and commit adultery. They steal sexual energy, they feed the ego, they do not practice psychological death, and of course, they do not self-realize the being. So, they betray their being, they betray their own being, and distance themselves eternally from him. Also, we may find that they preach but do not apply. They develop intellect and reason, they feel good, they feel that they are very good, that they are fair, and even they describe themselves as saints, okay? They claim to be prophets. They preach even con contacts with extraterrestrials and so on, okay? But we may also find that they work for money, of course. They are interested in people with money and wealth. And between or among them, they compete and fight for fame, for power, for prestige. They pursue pleasure. They pursue uh, all the subjective things in life. Okay? So, let us reflect on all this to see where we may be going wrong. When we are advancing on the path, it is normal to twist due to the lack of work on psychological death. We may say... Um, that we don't have those defects. But if we look closer, we are going to find, for example, that we love giving advices to friends or relatives, that we like to manipulate people so we can get what we want from them. We feel hatred, we, we feel envy, we desire bad things to happen to those people. When we are angry, for example, we tend to curse. We tend to curse the things or we tend to curse the, the people. We like having or buying crystals, essences, reading books of magic, uh, watching TV shows of magic or witchcraft. <laughs> we betray our being doing things we know we shouldn't do. Now we know the power of sex and still we continue fornicating or we use this energy as, as we already know the power it has. We use this energy to attract material things. Uh, we want to develop powers, okay, to, to do the things we, we like, to do the, the things as, as we want. We want to make others dependent uh, on us or we become dependent on others. We are liars. We don't practice psychological death, but we continue feeding the ego, knowing already how to eliminate it. We feel we are good people and try to make others believe it too. We like to seduce. 
uh, we like to provoke others, especially sexually. We slander others. We try to force others to love us. We tyrannize them. We don't respect the free will, uh, the free will of, of other people. And maybe we've been part of pseudo esoteric schools, such as churches or sets. Um, maybe we've made some medical procedures such as transplants of blood, uh, of blood or, or, or any other organs. And maybe we've been castrated or we've taken contraceptives. Maybe we've committed adultery. This I have many details that we may find even in our daily life. Maybe we haven't carried out several of these actions, but we could have even had the desire to do them. And that means we have that detail or defect, okay? <laughs> the important thing is that all of us have this eye. And if we do not work those little details, they are going to lead us to fit this defect and become a black magician. Because now we are working with sexual energy, the most powerful energy. That's why we need to make the decision and go uh, definitely against, against our ego. So we can become, uh, become a white magician, be part of the white lodge, get to fuse with our being and go back to the absolute, okay? So this has been the lecture for today. Thank you all for being here and see you in the next lecture.